Thank you for joining the Author Spotlight Show. My name is Gail Watson, founder and CEO of Women's Speakers Association and WSA Publishing, a place that is dedicated to sharing and promoting the gifted messages of women in over 120 countries. Today, we shine the spotlight on an inspiring woman who is transforming the lives of those around her through her loving dedication and compassion. I have the proud honor of introducing to you today international best-selling author, co-author of Voices of the 21st Century, Cindy J. Holbrook. Welcome to the show, Cindy J. Oh, thank you, Gail. It's my pleasure. So awesome to have you on the show. Uh, this has been an incredible journey uh, doing this book with you. And, um, you know, you share a very personal story. Like you, you bring us way behind the curtain with you. And, um, you know, what I'd love for you to do is share with uh, our listeners is what inspired you to share your story? I think that it's, you know, we all have trauma, uh, different types in our life. And we as people will rate it um, in our minds, but our bodies don't rate what it is. So we all have the same feelings, the same depressions, the same thoughts. Uh, but a lot of times people don't want to verbalize those thoughts or those feelings. And then it gets stuck inside of our bodies and creates more sadness and depression. Right, because you talk about, you have an interesting title to your chapter, Meeting Mary, and this is about somebody who I gave you reason to live. Exactly, yeah. I was definitely on the brink of suicide. I had it planned out. I was just ready, and so Meeting Mary definitely changed my life and uh, showed me that I did, in fact, have something to live for. So, and that's what I was just saying. Uh, we go way <laughs> behind the curtain <laughs> and you really let us get to see you, mm -hmm. uh, which is really amazing. So as you picture someone out reading your story about meeting Mary and the significant impact that Mary had on your life, quite mm -hmm. literally saving it, what do you want readers to take away from your story well you know part of it you even talked about you know how personal my story was but I'm known as Cindy J the visibility whiz online and I help um, coaches speakers and authors really get seen get known and get clients but so much of that's through the authenticity and when to me it's very important that I'm authentic and I show people all of the ins and outs, the feelings like, you know, um, there's no difference between you and I, we've all had the same exact feelings and emotions, even though our experiences are different. And so, you know, meeting Mary, as I said, really showed me that there is more to me than what I thought there was. Um, and after I met Mary, I really started learning who I was. And I started learning to love myself. And as I grew and learned more about myself, you know, I'd always had a passion to help other people, but it became more founded. Um, the more women, especially women that I met that were going through similar things as me that felt lost and devastated and that they were all alone. They didn't have an identity because people their whole life had told them who they were supposed to be. Uh, so they really never had a chance to find out who they are. And so after I met Mary, I had the opportunity to really do a lot of soul searching and find out who Cindy J is and what Cindy J liked. Uh, there's one of my favorite shows is um, Runaway Bride. In Runaway Bride, um, Richard, Julie Roberts is the runaway bride. Richard Gere is the reporter. And, you know, she's ran away from like four or five different alters whenever she's supposed to get married as Richard Gere is interviewing these men he asks them all do you know what Julia's favorite type of egg is and they oh that's easy exactly like I like them poached oh that's easy exactly the way I like them scrambled oh that's easy exactly the way I like them over medium and so Julia Roberts she was always conforming herself to what the men in her life wanted and we do that so often as women, where we just will be these 
uh, camelons, how do you say the word? Camelions. And just be who we think other people want us to be or who they are. And so I have a saying that I always ask my clients, how do you like your eggs? And so I went through my own uh, transformation of how did I like my own eggs? And so much more about food. It's um, my hairstyle, my dress, what I wanted to wear, places I wanted to go, uh, things I wanted to see, who I wanted to help and what I wanted to be and how I wanted to show up in this world. And so, you know, one person can totally transform your life. And whenever you know that there's other people out there that have gone through similar things as you, then it helps you, it helps ease you and helps you understand that, hey, if they made it, I can make it too. If they transformed their lives, I can too. And so meeting Mary, you know, brought me to being Cindy J, the visibility whiz, where I really help women uh, and men, I help them transform and be authentic so they can share their own gifts and talents with others. I love that. You definitely show up with a lot of positivity. Um, and in having spoke with you before, you're, you're all about the empowerment of moving forward and not letting our past really grab its hooks and, and make us feel like we, we've just survived something. Is that, you're, you're all about, no, you are here. This is your gift. Let's go for it. So talk to me a little bit more about, um, you know, the people you work with in terms of um, how do you work? Do you work one-on-one -on -one or is it group coaching that you're doing? Like All, tell all of the above. Um, I also um, wrote a memoir that uh, uh, the story of my life with a traumatic past that I'm hoping again to even reach more people. Right now, a lot of it is I do work one-on-one. -on -one. I also do group coaching and it's really, you know, a lot of people, they, they want to speak or they want to, you know, be authors. They want to have their online businesses, but they're in this game with themselves. They're saying, yes, I want to be seen. Here I am. Hire me. I can help you. Oh, no, don't see me because I'm having a bad hair day or I'm mad. Oh, here I am. Here I'm not. Here I am. And they do that because of the inner turmoil that they're feeling, um, fears, challenges, insecurities, uh, shame, um, just not feeling worthy of success. Uh, all of these things play into the blocks that we've deep rooted in our subconscious that are preventing us from playing full out. And in order for anybody, regardless if you're a stay-at-home mom or you're working somewhere or you're a speaker, author, or coach, you have these blocks that are not allowing you to play full out. And so, you know, with, so like with me, with the coaches, speakers, authors, I help them redefine their past and define their future because their past has nothing to do with the future. But if we don't on purpose create our future, our past has everything to do with our future. Um, in my memoir, one of my chapters is um, I'm free or so I thought. And another one is the past caught up with me. Because if we don't face our past obstacles and know that it's keeping us behind, it's not going to allow us to blossom and be authentic. And we have no idea that it's doing it to us until we face it. Mm, I love that. And I think you're speaking to a lot of people right now. Uh, because, you know, we can be trapped in past from years back, but even the short period of time in the pandemic has trapped many people. And um, I'm thinking there's a lot of people listening to you right now, like me going, oh, yeah, we need to talk, Cindy J. <laughs> you know, so let's talk about your book here. You know, if, if, you know, to our listeners right now, if Cindy J is speaking to you, I think this would be a great book for you just to get connected really get to see her why and who she's become because of it and but also think about the other women in your life i mean because voices of the 21st century is a showcase of stories of 49 other authors along with you cindy j that share their experience and they're all stories of empowerment to help you move forward and 
So mm-hmm. just a beautiful, beautiful book. And uh, think about, you know, gifting your friend, because just like you said, Cindy J, um, we want to be visible, but we don't want to be visible. Yeah. And, but this is a way for you to say to somebody, I see you and you mm-hmm. matter. So Cindy J, where can we get a copy or copies uh-huh. of your book? Yes, and I do want to say, you know, I've read lots of the other stories in the book, and I do think it's a book every woman needs, because regardless where you're at, what you're doing, there's an inspirational story in there that's exactly what you need for any given time, and I believe it's a book that you can look at, you know, for years to come and find more inspiration with it. And that being said, you can go to cindyjholbrook.com forward slash books and uh, get your copy of The Voices book. That's awesome. You are, I mean, how you show up, you show up with a beautiful smile. Blue looks sensational on you, by the way. It just, (laughs) it makes you come alive. So uh, I wanna really thank you for being so vulnerable in this book and and really letting people see you. And it took a lot of courage to really pull back that curtain and showcase. Yeah, you know. it's it's interesting with anybody, you know, we all grow and evolve. I mean, I don't believe anybody quote unquote stay still. Um, but I know through a part of my life, um, I had this friend and I mean, we worked at the same place, but our boss used to always say all this stuff. And then I did so much healing and she was in a bad place. And she used to always say, people would not believe where we are today. They wouldn't believe that I'm falling apart and you've got it all together. When, when we worked together, it was the opposite. So you're co- continuously growing and changing. And I think we all need to embrace that change and ask ourselves how we can change for the better. Well said. So uh, you've shared so many golden nuggets with us. And I want to really thank you for how you show up in this world and how you put yourself out to be visible. All, you know, background, Mm -hmm. current situations, everything you do it. Um, Your Facebook page is really inspiring. So, um, you know, go find Cindy J. Holbrook on Facebook. Go become friends. It's um, (laughs) really a great place to connect. So um, Cindy J, with that said, as we conclude this time together, could you leave us with some of your words of wisdom? My words of wisdom are basically is at any given moment, you have the choice to redefine who you are and how you show up in the world. And so stop letting your past define who you are and choose to define yourself in your future beginning now. Beautiful, beautiful, just like you. So thank you so much, Cindy J, for joining us today and um, sharing yourself uh, to inspire others. And may you be that Mary in somebody's life. Yes, everybody needs Mary. Everybody thank you very much, Gail. Mary, it's thank been you. a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you. And to our listeners, we look forward to connecting with you again on another Author Spotlight show. Thanks for listening and go check out Cindy J. Holbrook.